Hey, good morning, guys. Just figured I'd do a quick video, you know, of the BS going on in the news. I sat there and I, I was reading, and uh, I don't remember where I seen this at. I think it was all Facebook news or some crap. I don't know. But um, a seven-year-old child. Uh, was arrested in New York for rape. Let me say that again. A seven-year-old child. Yeah. Ugh. Tell you what. You know, some people may not agree with me about a few things like the Bible but uh, if you've noticed the crime rate has gone up since the Bible just came came out of the house okay uh, nobody's reading the Bible anymore they're watching the fake preachers on television um I'm an ordained minister myself, and I don't watch anybody on TV anymore. Uh, I don't. I don't go to church anymore because it's all hypocritical BS. Um, I'm a, you know, if I had my chance, I I would open my own church up. You know, you, you, you study the Word of God by what the Bible says, not what you think it says, you know. The Bible tells you what it means and what it's saying. You don't have to put words in there. You don't have to go to seminary school to understand the Bible. You don't have to have a doctorate and philosophy or whatever you know to understand the Bible look at John the Baptist okay he didn't have any college degree I don't even think he had any schooling honestly uh, look at any of them I mean okay well uh, the some of the apostles were pretty daggum smart. So, you know, especially John. And, uh, you know, then you had uh, Luke, which was a physician at the beginning of his life. Uh, you know, he was smart. He had Matthew, which was a debt collector, or tax collector, debt collector, tax collector, same thing. You know, it just irritates me to uh, listen to the government tell the preacher how to run his church. I was listening to Constitutional Patriot podcast earlier, and uh, I totally agree with Scott. You know, the government has no right to tell you how to run your church. You want to open your church up, you want to have Bible study, you want to uh, have church services do it they can't stop you it, it's called the it called your first amendment right you know like i said if, if i had my own church i would do it uh, i don't care what the government says you know if i remember correctly there was a mayor or someone down there in houston i think it was they tried to tell the church they have to uh give them their sermons that they're going to 
have for that weekend or for that week. Um, no, no. That's not true at all. What you say is between you and God and your parish, you know. I don't care what anybody says. Ugh. Another beautiful morning. It's about 29, 30 degrees out. I'm heading home from northern Iowa. But, uh, yeah, I've seen that, that posting on uh, Facebook about that seven-year-old going to jail for rape. And, you know, I'm not into abuse or anything, but I grew up pretty good. I grew up in the 70s and 80s and 90s, you know. I got my butt spanked quite a few times. Dad didn't have a problem doing it. Mom didn't have a problem doing it. Your grandparents sure in hell didn't have a problem doing it, you know. Uh, you take the punishment away from the parents and I'm not talking abuse I'm talking punishment you know you take that away from the parents and the government's telling you how to run your household which is BS okay they have no right to tell you how to, how to raise your kids you want to raise your kids the way you were raised and I'm not talking abuse I mean a few things my dad did to me uh, trust me people would have called it abuse today but half the stuff <laughs> I'm sorry but half the stuff that uh, I got it trust me it was uh, it was my fault I, I can promise you that. I wasn't a perfect angel, I can tell you that much. Um, no, but, you know... Yeah, we had our crime back in the 80s. We had our crime back in the 70s. You know. But... The kids knew... If mom said something or if dad said something, you didn't do it, you know, you, you faced the consequence for it. Or if you didn't listen to them or you back talked them, well, you got the back end of the hand, you know what I'm saying? Or you got soap in your mouth. Uh, never got the soap, but the butt whoopings was good enough for me. Yeah, well, I mean... That was back in back in the day where the schools could still paddle your butt, you know. Trust me, I got a few of them too. And if you got paddled at school, you got paddled at home just the same. Yeah, you know, that's just what happened when you got in trouble. Uh, but yeah, I mean it's it's getting ridiculous out there, you know. Seven-year-old rape somebody. I don't know who he raped because I didn't read the whole ad. You know, I sat there and I go, what the... Uh, okay, seven years old. He should be out playing with video games or out chasing his tail in the middle of the street. I don't know if, you, you know, when you guys were growing up, you know, your parents ever tell you, you know, go chase your tail out in the middle of the street. Or, uh, go play in the road or something, you know, just to get out of the house. We didn't have video games back then. Uh, I mean, we had the Atari, which I still have one. But, yeah, we had the Atari growing up. You guys know how boring that was? We didn't want to play it. It was exciting when it first came out, you know. Uh, Frogger. I don't know if you guys remember that or not. That was my all-time favorite game. Um, there was another one, too. I think it was called Pong or something like that. And if I remember right, Cuber. Cuber was cool. 
I just I kept irritating me though. I kept falling, <laughs> kept jumping off the edge instead of on one of them squares. But uh, anyhow, um, yeah, I'm sitting there and listening to stuff and listening to the news and things of that nature and uh, I don't I don't understand half the shit that's going on nowadays I'm sorry I, I don't I guess you can call me ignorant um, I don't know what's going on I mean You know, people complained about Trump having kids in the from Mexico and all them in cages and stuff. Hell, they got more more kids in cages now than they did when Trump was in office. You know, and uh, that's just ridiculous. I think they're maxed out or something. I can't remember. But, yeah, really? I mean, come on. Everybody wants to blame Trump on everything, but they don't want to blame the Democrats on anything. Hey, who started, who started, uh, uh, um, my brain just went blank, guys. It's early. <laughs> Um, I've been up since, uh, 2 o'clock this morning, and, uh, sometimes I sit here and I'll think about something and my brain just goes to something else, but I get sidetracked. My wife calls it my squirrel, tells me to put my squirrel back in the cage. <clears throat> But, uh, what the hell was I talking about? Um, yeah, anyway. It's another thing, too. Uh, I watched a lot of, uh, YouTube on a lot of stuff. Documentaries. I don't have regular cable or none of that crap. I don't pay for that crap. I I have the internet at the house, and that's all I pay for, you know. Um, I mean, I pay for, I think it's, I think I pay for Hulu, Disney Plus, for when the kids come over. And, uh, another one. like crime documentaries and history of the Bible, things of that nature. I don't know. I'm a little messed up in the head. But it happens. So, anyway, I just wanted to, you know, touch, talk to you guys about some stuff. I just don't, uh, I don't understand how a seven-year-old could get charged with rape seven years old when you were seven years old did you know where your tallywhacker went I really didn't give a damn about it you know I was too busy playing with toys yeah don't make any sense there's gotta be something behind that you know was he watching other things go down, you know, to get him like that? You never know. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to get off of here. You guys have a blessed day. I'll probably talk to you later anyway, after I find some more news to bitch about. But God bless you. Keep your faith. Love you.